What's up, everybody? It's Greg and Mike here from Better's Delight. Every week, we bring you all of our picks with the utmost confidence in them. But the confidence that we're talking about today is in the bedroom. That's where Blue Chew comes into play. Blue Chew is an incredible online service that delivers to you the same active ingredients as Viagra and Cialis. But it's all in chewable form, so no swallowing pills or worrying about any of that. Plus, it's much cheaper than the doctor's. And Blue Chew's tablets are a performance enhancement for the bedroom and can help men gain extra confidence when it's time to perform. Hey, Greg, what's your favorite flavor? Ah, that's the new Vardenafil mint-flavored chewables, Mike. They have the same active ingredients as Levitra and Staxon, so I'm always ready to go. Yeah, I'm a big fan of uh, mint, and I'm a big fan of when things are easy. And Blue Chew is an online prescription service, so you don't got to visit the doctor. You don't have to have any awkward conversations, and there's no waiting in line at the pharmacy. It'll ship right to my door in a discreet packaging. It's a very simple process. You sign up at BlueChew.com. You consult with one of their licensed medical professionals. And once you're approved, you'll receive that prescription within days. And the best part, it's all done online. Working with those licensed medical providers, they're going to help you find the exact right ingredient and the right strength for your prescription. And here's a special deal for our listeners. Try BlueChew free when you use our promo code DELIGHT at checkout. You'll just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code DELIGHT to receive your first month free. What is up, everybody? Season four, episode 23, Better's Delight. And fellas, we're down a man. Why are we down a man? He's already saving his spot in the parking lot for the NFC Championship game at the link. He's been camped out all week in a tent, getting ready. He's excited, as we all are, for the birds to go out there. That or the fact that he just, again, I mean, he only went negative minus 1.79 last week with his picks that he was doing through, uh, you know, through through the week. But it's just, I think he needed a week to re- regroup, reset. Sometimes you need that, and we don't get that nearly enough. But we will be back with his picks and our picks on BovadaSportsBook.com. I mean, no one, again. Uh, with a winning week, I th- I don't think. Maybe Mark? No, no, Mark had a terrible week, too. How did you have a bad week, Mark? I feel like you had a ton of positives. I did not. I had a lot of negatives. And I had a couple nice wins that kept me from having a just god-awful week. But hey, hey, Boston Scott. That's not okay. my wallet. <laughs> not my wallet. Pick of the week. Hey, hey, Boston Scott. All right, so that was a good one. And then the birds <laughs> minus four or minus thirteen and a half was a good pick. I wish I parlayed them, yeah. but it is what it is. It was it was actually Matt. So I was gonna bring this up because it was actually Matt that had a bunch of nice tennis wins, some big upsets. Our social media guy stinks. I didn't see one tweet about Matt's tennis picks. Literally, you think that as you mark down the wins and losses. You would be like, oh, this hit, this hit. It's this not my hit. responsibility. It's not my we responsibility to watch Matt's picks. No, it's not mine. This You're the one disgusting. who marks the, the wins and losses. So you'd think if something I, that hits that's more than three units, you'd be like, oh, hey, maybe we should tell the social media guy to post this. I I'm posted it on my wallet. Oh, well, that, I mean, you had to. I mean, <laughs> did you hear the stadium? Did you hear the stadium after the Boston Scott touchdown? Every single person, yeah. all 68,000 had Boston Scott didn't, anytime. Didn't hear it. it. Not, not all 68. Mm-hmm. There was one that. guy that did it. <laughs> <laughs> one guy didn't put that one in. And it was he's like, out right now. <laughs> um, he's, he's, unbelievable. It didn't affect his wallet either way, I guess. You know, it wasn't <laughs> negative. It wasn't, definitely wasn't positive, though. <laughs> I'm out. I'm, I was too busy, Mike. Like celebrating the Rose Bowl and getting my Rose Bowl championship gear because that everybody knows how important college football bowl games, specifically the Rose Bowl, when you finish in like fourth place in the Big Ten is. I can't. Super important. I can't get into this argument anymore. Bowl games have lost their luster. Obviously, obviously those games mean more. 
But bowl games in general have lost their luster. If they had, like, you had to win eight games to get in, instead you, like, can sometimes go five and seven and still make a bowl game. I don't understand how the five and seven teams get into bowl games. I love football. So I'm not complaining about more football. I'm just saying how, like, like, I love football. I like gambling. I'm going to gamble on the games. But it's just they lost their luster. Well, we're the Rose Bowl champions, but but let's be fair. The biggest great receivers too. The biggest news of the week comes from the fifty fifth best Philly sports school, the Temple Owls, taking down number one Houston. I don't. I'm trying to beat an owl. I'm trying to beat that. But, dude, look at the Owls, man. Look at the Owls. They had another nice win today, an overtime win against a much less, a much more inferior team in South Florida. But this team just plays the competition. They got another game against Houston in about 10 or 11 days. I'm hoping that goes well. They're going to lose by 50. I'm hoping I wish- that it goes well. Can I can I get the Bavada preview on that one? And I'll take yeah. I'll take Houston already. It's it's on North Broad, so we will no, we, we will better. have that we will have better. that going for us. That home crowd. We will have that going for us. Uh, but how about those blocks at the end of the game? Just two huge blocks with under two seconds left to preserve the win. And it was uh, a big win. A big win. Was. Tip the cap. I think it's the first uh, first win over a number one ranked team in uh, like 32 years for the Owls. So I'll take it. It might have been the first of my life. But, you know, I did see a number three victory, a team over a number, th- number three in the world, or I guess country. In the world? Well, I guess in the world. Technically the world. Works. Number three world. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> that counts. But that was one of a kind. One of a kind. That was that game. I don't know if you guys know that one, but I do. Juan Fernandez, 33 points. But is that the guy that's neither here nor there in the tournament? That's fake. Also, also with that guy. I, I need to get my uh first round tournament champs hat out. It's it's kind of similar <laughs> to that Rose Bowl. First of all, look how nice this Rose Bowl champs nice hat. hat is. I Don't mean, get me wrong. I would rock some Rose Bowl champs gear. I just the, I, the luster's not the this, same. This is nowhere near as fun. I 100% thought Mike was all about the Rose Bowl and how important it was. That's why I bought the hat. And now no. that he's like, ah, the Rose Bowl doesn't matter. It's nowhere. The bit's nowhere near as funny. Well, I'm on the other side. I was on the other side. Aren't I felt mm-hmm. like you were in group chats in, where you argue. I'm about. in too many group chats with you to oh, remember what's that. There's true. too many mics. There's a Mike D, a Mike A, Mike Z, <laughs> Q, R, S, T. I can't keep track of anybody. True. So <laughs> there is a lot. There, there is a lot of us. It's a sick name. It's a sick name. I, sick name isn't exactly the one that I would describe it as, but I hear you. Um, yeah, but I, brought yeah, gift, I brought one gift. It's, it's just the gift for me, but I thought you guys enjoy it. Got some of these. Oh, oh let's go. Oh, let's go. go. Those aren't. Those oh, these are the crunchy good. shell ones, though. They're not the clusters. Damn, oh, those what are you the doing? clusters, dude. What are you doing? You get me all excited. I was, yeah. I was like, let's go. I you just, just realized you bought the wrong candy. <laughs> all right, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> never mind. Oh, I don't, I got, I don't have I got this for you. It's not what you like, but it's close. It's hey, close. It's, <laughs> it's yeah, a cousin yeah. of the nerd. Like, hey, that's me. <laughs> You're the nerd. I guess there's not. They're like kind of. <laughs> no, they're not. One giant ones. Yeah, so like they're all actually connected. Nobody wants to watch you eat these. Things. Yeah. <laughs> it's there the marshmallows goes. all over again. <laughs> they're all connected, so it's like not the same, but it's close. You know what I had recently for the first time in a while? <laughs> Sca- sour Skittles. And I dude, they were those. they were rough. They were they were a lot. Uh, harder than i remember them being and they were definitely sour that's because they don't make those anymore they they were discontinued in 2016 yeah You're them along, with, with, along with the uh <laughs> the and Hershey gold. Gold. <laughs> yeah, gold. <laughs> <laughs> maybe maybe that's what it was but they were not great i did not have a lot of them but i was like Ugh. i mean I'm just really upset i did have sour punch straws though and those are always at the spot i i already I, uh, I sa- Sunday morning I was or Saturday morning I was riding around at a couple errands to run before the game, 
And every time a Philly team's in a playoff run, I find some sort of like uh, ritualistic food. Yeah, you gotta some, get. yeah, exactly. Something I have to do it was when the birds won the Super Bowl. It was me and Matt for every playoff game. Goose IPA first beer in the stadium. Super Bowl Sunday, we didn't go to the game, but first beer uh, at the Super Bowl party, watching the game, Goose IPA. So then Flyers, there was, a, a, uh, I forget what it was, some sort of sour, tropical Sour Patch Kids. They lost in the first round. Those got retired forever. Um, and there's a couple other different Stop things over the, course. Those. <laughs> <laughs> over the course of the years. But I found for the Eagles playoff run, it's the Sweet Tarts. Twisted tropical the ropes, they're terrible. They're honestly awful, but you got to do them f- for the birds to win. I That's had those good. too. I ate them it's, all though. They stink though, right? Like they're not that good. Mm, I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I guess back, back in the day they had a. Uh, they switched the name. I think the sweet tart ropes. They used to be called Kazoozles, and they had them in the. Vending machines at high school. I was a big fan of getting kazoozles. That Everybody loved fake. it. That's a fake story. kazoozle. Kazoozles. I K A Z O O Z L E S. I swear. Look it up right now. Kazoozles. I can't imagine. I mean, we're down bad. We have no Matt, <laughs> no producer Chris. Now I'm googling kazoozles. Uh, I'm look down handy, but they look terrible. Oh, yeah, no, these were definitely just sweet tart ropes. Like that's what these are. No, they, they just switched the name to sweet tart ropes. That was a oh, strawberry. Tribe. Dog, strawberry watermelon would have been fire. Yeah, they were gas. They were so cherry, good. Cherry bad punch. Free. Bad free guys. Oh, I didn't. Cherry, I didn't know I'm that. Down, I'm down with cherry punch. I'm good with that. Yeah. But no, they the were they were the best. I might need to do, do like a go puff order and like just have some candy waiting for me by the end of this podcast. Cause... It's not a bad idea. Is that why? Is that what you... <laughs> <laughs> that's why I got candy. Oh, we got candy awesome. rituals going on. We got this is we are out of this. This might be a shorter episode for everybody watching. Go this might be a shorter me. episode. Go puff gave me a free hat too. I might I might have to put it on. I perfect i wish <laughs> gotta get it. Knowing, get here. knowing that my bit went to failure i wish this hat had been free this is unbelievable it's a nice hat. It's a nice hat. it is actually a very nice hat i did dude i bought i bought a t-shirt for me a t-shirt for matt for my wife and then proceeded to buy a second t-shirt for myself but i bought the wrong size and didn't realize it so now i just either have to like fit into it or return it and exchange it for the regular size that i normally buy it's a real problem. Being an adult stinks. Wow. What you sell $70 ties. Yeah. Dude, <laughs> that's just unbelievable. You both need to check out what you're buying before you leave. You know, many you people told out. me this. All you have to do is just go to our parents' house. You go into the closet. There's a thousand ties in there. That no, I, I like, that Greg, I like that Greg was saw the price and was just like, okay. I'll return these later. <laughs> Instead of just being like, "Hold on, hold on," I couldn't take those even ties stop. off. I was, I was completely yeah. frozen. With this I was Where were you? Like a men's warehouse? Situation. There's never a line like at those places. No, there was. Never I, I was. I might have been the only person in the store. If we're being honest, uh, I, I get stuck. In, I'd get stuck in the same situation. I'd 100 yeah. percent pay for it. But then the no odds way. of me actually returning it too. That's. Well, that's, I knew I, I, <laughs> went to my car. <laughs> I went to my car and I was like, well, I learned a lesson. Maybe I should look at, look at <laughs> price tags. That's $140. I'll never get back. I put, and then I, as I was opening the door, I went, no, I'm walking back in there. I'm returning. This is ridiculous. Yo, I'm a grown man. I can do this. <laughs> I, 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 this. I would have put like, my Dick's membership card down and be like, oh, it's not working. <laughs> <laughs> I'm now, that's what, me going back in was a big step in me realizing I am an adult uh, who can return things when necessary. I would never do that in the past. What's the worst thing that's going to happen? The guy that you bought it from judged it for a couple. Oh seconds. no, I went to a completely different register. <laughs> oh I went to the God. I went to the return exchange area of the store that I was in. Uh, Wait, I'm not going to go right back to the same person. Are you insane? I would. I would. No, no way. That guy would have loved it. I would have accidentally. I would have ended up buying two more times. <laughs> yeah, like, what are you somehow, about? somehow, two more times got into my cart. Now, now then, I would have looked at them and I would have said, "Do I look like the guy that can spend seventy dollars on two ties?" 
I well each that should have been obvious. Now I'm now I'm 280 deep in ties because I went back in and returned to the same guy. You are taking it very easy, sir. <laughs> Absolutely ridiculous. Well, uh, did, did retail nightmares aside, fellas, what do you say? I mean, we have we talked about it a little bit pre-show, recording later than normal. It's a whole thing, but uh, we're we're light on sports this week. Like Bavada has all the sports listed, but I mean, three more, it's, there's three more football games left. There's slim pickings, yeah, and you re, it's that's frightening. But we'll get the football. Let's start with oh, international. Man. We can't even use that. Like, oh, don't forget about the Pro Bowl. Like we can't it's even flag say that football. Anymore. Well, it's not it even. Like, yeah, you can't even say that anymore. We used to. Let's let's go to the uh, world of soccer. We'll start there, and I mean, there's a, 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 not a ton going on. Premier League's off because it's the FA Cup or the EFL. I don't know what's going on. There's there's a lot. I think it's the FA Cup, right? Yeah, FA uh, Cup this weekend. I so. uh, I'm not in the FA Cup at all, Matt. Mike, are you in the FA Cup? No, no, I'm not. All right, well, what kind of picks do you have? I'm in League One. I got two picks in League One. I'll start with uh, Lil and Nice, over two and a half, plus 108. A little Tim Way action. USA's actually playing right now in international friendly against Siberia. Ooh. Yeah. I think they were like a pick em. Siberia? Yeah. It can't be Siberia. Siberia is Russia. They're not a separate no, no, country. No, no, no. Serbia? I mean, he's Serbia. 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 Who did you just pick against Serbia? USA. 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 They play Serbia. Yeah. They play tonight. They're playing in four minutes. Yeah, they're playing right now. No, no, I didn't pick them. I just said they're playing right now. I said Tim Weah uh, because I picked the. He's on Lil. What, what, what's the, <laughs> what's the line you took? This is going to be an unbelievably <laughs> Plus long one, okay. Siberia? Against, yeah, I meant Serbia against USA. I mean, pen- <laughs> it wasn't pen- even a game I'm betting on. Somehow you're saying dumber things than the pendulum. Yeah, he's uh, betting on the Siberian men's <laughs> national team. Uh, it's just what unbelievable. I'm on no. Marseille versus Monaco oh, plus one fifteen. Hey, 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 that was my other league one pick. I have one oh, more in league goodness. one, but I'll save it. I have one more in league one, but I'll save it. Mark, what do you have? I'm actually in the uh, FA Cup. I got uh, I got Arsenal, Man City. I'm gonna go with the first half draw plus one forty in that game. Uh, this a this is a preview, a little preview of what's coming up in next month. When the two big dogs go up against each other, but uh, I don't know if you know. Looks Maybe like Man City's right on Man City to win it all. What was the first half draw? Uh, plus one forty. All right. You can go I mean, eat. <laughs> it was that 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 man. You Zinchenko was offsides. I didn't no, he watch. Was not. I didn't watch almost the entire game. Mm. I had put I had put the kids down for a nap. Um. And I was like, all right, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to watch the last, like, five minutes of this game. I turned it on, and as I turned it on, Arsenal broke the tie. Like, oh. it was simultaneous, and I immediately turned it off. So, it was, uh, he may have been offsides. He may he not have not. been offsides. No, he was not. They, they have VAR. Like, VAR. Hey, that's stinks. always right. Thanks. VAR but, is always right. But it's, it was it was close, but I don't think he was offsides. All right, good. Um, it was a great game. Great game. Some great goals. Uh, some pretty sweet goals from both sides. Rashford's on a tear. He uh, stinks. He scored exactly. again today in the EFL semifinals. You stink. Anyway. Rashford. He, he's got a good. He's got a good finishing boot. But other than that, he just he's maybe just he's turned around. the corner, man. He's still young, right? He still so. had like a six point eight match rating, even with that goal. That's not that good. I don't know what match rating this, means. This I see just, it after every what game. What was his expected goals, though? <laughs> That's a good question. You can look up players specifically. Expect I'll I'll find it. Oh, now, you yeah. looked that up. I got Strasbourg plus one twenty five versus Toulouse. I only took that because Toulouse is one of the characters in Aristocats, um, and I bet against them, so that makes no sense. I don't. I'm. I'm <laughs> Yeah. It's been a long day. It's been one of the longer days. But that's why we're I'm here to try to find value on Bovada. I don't know what you want from me. I'm going um, uh, to jump into the Copa del Rey uh, right. in Spain. I got Real Madrid taking on Atletico Madrid tomorrow. I'm going to take Real at minus 105. 
feel like that's good value for a team uh, like Real Madrid. I know that, you know, they're playing a rival, but still like them to come out on top in that one. The issue is, is that betting any of these cup games, I'm just talking through a yawn. That's um, okay. Mikey's got a weird face on. <laughs> I found the list of expected goals. The Go issue on, is, is betting betting through any of these cup games is like nearly impossible. Well, well, you, you never, never know, know who's, who's going to start. Yeah. Magic of the cup. And Robert Lewandowski let you down big, Mark. You got everything you needed from Erling Holland. Uh, just disappointed. True. Mike, Marcus Rashford, expected goals. Yes, so he this year has less goals than his expected goals. This that year. seems bad. He has nine seems goals, bad. and his expected goals is 9.22. So That seems like he's right there. Mm-hmm. It seems like you're boring, and last Greg. Two years, you're literally last two years, boring, Greg. <laughs> I, wish, I wish it was the case. I'm just so tired. The last two years, his expected, expected goals were, were less than, than what he scored. So that's good. Then the two years before that is – so he's he's been – I feel like you don't really understand the stat. Four out of eight years. No, four out of five years. Four out of – fudge. Four out of nine years. <laughs> four out of nine years. He did not score as much as he's supposed to based on his expected goals. But I don't think you understand the stat. Yes, I do. So if you score more than your expected goals amount, that's almost like your batting average of balls in play being super high. And that's almost like luck, right? Because it's just like, well, oh. Where you hit the, where you hit the ball. And... Right. But like, if not you anymore. Hit... The shift is dead. The shift is Which dead. Is amazing. But. It is a little bit of luck because if, if you score five goals more than you're expected to, then that's just like, oh, you're lucky. It's not. It's not technically uh, lucky. You know what this sounds it's, like? It's, it's like it's, it's like what's name against? It's like what's name against Poland? He was burying in those shots from outside the 18, not expectedly to go in. Banking on expected goals is like only watching box scores. That's the way I feel. Yeah, that's 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 valid. <laughs> that I can't it disagree feels, with. <laughs> it feels disingenuous to make disagree. any to make any judgments <laughs> while you know only watching the box score of a team. No, I definitely don't do that with the Sixers. That's not me. But well, I mean, their yeah. Sixers are they're, they're going under the radar. I think this year they're starting to play some real good basketball. Did real they win good tonight? basketball. They're still. We on. can talk about it because cr- producer Chris. Oh, is yeah, there. they're 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 currently winning. With four minutes left. It's a bunch of wins in a row. My last pick oh, in soccer first, is in Serie A. I'm on Torino versus Empoli plus 145. Mike, anything else in soccer? I'm also in Serie A. My last pick, I got Napoli and Roma over two and a half minus 108. Minus 108. Mark. Yes. Yeah, I'm going to go with uh, I'm going to Liga MX. I'm going to Mexico. Ooh, okay. Yeah, go to Mexico. Sure I'm going to. I'm going to take uh, Club Football Monterey at plus 110 over FC Puebla. Uh, and solely because of their stadium. Uh, I don't know if you guys have seen their stadium, but they're hosting World Cup games in 26. And their stadium is the one with the mountain in the, the mountain back. mountain in the back? I have seen that. It's absolutely electric. incredible. I have so seen So I'm going to add them to my card because of their mountain. What is, that, uh, that is electric. What, what are their odds to win that game? Plus 110. Plus 110. All right, uh, plus one ten for you. Does that does that wrap up soccer for us, fellas? Late week, late week in soccer yeah. with no Premier League. I really, yeah. since I had some of these, I just I won't. You gonna just them. keep rubbing on them? No. <laughs> Shout out producer Chris widening his lead, uh, going two and two again. I, I can't. I don't think he finished up in units in soccer. Wrexham again blows a two nil lead. The worst was breaking the news. They won an extra time, three two. And he was like, "Well, I went three and four, three out of four. and I was like, "No, you didn't. You went two and two. That's how. That's not just the Bavada rule. That's a betting soccer everywhere rule. That's how that works. I really, um, I've, I think I'm down like thirty units in the last three weeks. So it hasn't good. been good. Not good. Falling apart. No. Not uh, not good at all. It's that's, just. That's why we're here, guys. We're here for people to fade us." So yeah, that's true. the original name of the podcast. Let's that's go what it's to supposed to be. Let's go to <laughs> tennis. We are in the. It's got to be the end of the Australian Open. And for months and months and months, 
months and I say yeah, I said towards the end, right? Mm-hmm. Months and months and months and months. I had uh, you know stayed away from tennis, and then I went out on three last week, and now I remember why I stayed away from tennis for all these weeks. But uh, Mike, I'll go to you first. Yeah, I'm gonna put in a future. Uh, for the winner of the of the women's Australian Open, I'm gonna bet Elena Rabikina plus one sixty five. Outright, yeah, plus one sixty five for you. Not a ton of great value there, but I hear you. <sighs> She's the second best odds. She's minus I mean, two hundred five today or tomorrow. Yeah, that's what I. But that's All what right. I mean. All right, Greg. Like, yeah. Whatever. 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 It's, fine. Value it's, boys. it's the value boys versus me this week. I mean, I, I got I got a parlay too. Like, if you want, it's got a lot of value. Yeah, 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 no, no. <laughs> I got hey, a parlay. Why did you, you say that with an accent? I, like, I got a parlay if you want. <laughs> I don't know. Greg, Greg, I, I, I got a pick. I guess. I I got a pick. It's it's Novak, and it's Novak minus eight at minus one twenty five because he is back. He's a king. Dude, Tommy he's, Paul's he's, a dog, though. I think you uh, give me plus eight minus one hundred five on Tommy Paul. You're my so you're minus one fifteen, Mark, and then minus one twenty five. Minus one twenty five. I'm minus one hundred five. Give me minus nine at plus one forty as well. Tommy Just, Paul's a dog. All right, what's Tommy the, Paul's? All right, Tommy what's the next? What's we're gonna what's check plus, his X-ray? <laughs> it's gonna be empty tomorrow. <laughs> what's plus seven and a half? Seven and a half plus one twenty. I want that, Greg. Put that on my card. Okay. All right. So, hang on. <laughs> so, Tommy Paul plus eight is what? Minus 105? Yes. And Tommy Paul plus seven and a half. Plus 120. Plus 120. Mike, you want to be the value boy? Do you want to be the value boy? Yeah. Do you know how this works? You take Tommy <laughs> Paul money line plus a thousand on Bovada. Against Novak Djokovic. And you know what? Put it on the board. Tommy Paul, outright winner, Australian Open, plus 3,300. Put it on the board. That's how you show the value, boys, what value is made out of. Are you <laughs> doing that or am I? Yeah, Mike, obviously I'm doing that. That's the whole rant. Right. I won. I, I got no, it. You, no, you that's <laughs> deep, man. It's not I'm behind you. Answer. I'm behind you by like 20 units. Ugh. Tell me you don't know tennis. Without telling me you don't know tennis. Yeah, Mark, I just told you I don't bet tennis, but we have a three-man cast this week. We got to make things happen. The king of the bits Tommy is Tommy Paul's here. a dog. Hey, king of bits, king of bits. Hey, <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah, Tommy Paul's the – yeah, he, we don't have here. Usually he just brings up something to let us talk about. I don't yeah. know. It's me. I, I'm the king of bits. I'm smoking my pen. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Mark, what else you got I don't know what's going on over there. <laughs> I, I don't no know. Idea. I'm going to take Karen catching off. Uh, I'm going to do the double dip on him. Plus the four, minus 115, and plus 200 for a decent amount of value. Uh, plus what now? Plus? It's plus 200, Greg. Plus Use 200. your ears a little. I mean, there's only two of us. <laughs> I'm, I'm typing. I'm writing. I got a whole lot going on. I'm yeah, sorry. You just said there wasn't a lot going on. Thanks, well, thanks. I have a lot going on as I'm doing everything. I got a lot going on, too. Uh, I got a lot going on. I got my life. <laughs> I was literally smoking this camera. Right <laughs> I got my life. All right, give me your – thanks, Mike. It's, it's a lot of value. value. It's a lot of value. All right, go ahead. All right, so it's Elena Rabikina. That I already said. Uh, do you want me straight in this? Yeah, I mean, I, yes, yes, yeah, yeah. So she's minus, minus 205. Yes, against uh, Azarenka. Okay. Uh, so our, my tennis guy, he's been all over Azarenka, but Rabikina is going to bury her. And uh, Stefanos Tsitsipas against who Mark just took there and catching off, he's minus two fifty. So here's where the value comes in: plus one hundred eight. If you put them together, ah, oh, you know that's the best thing to do. Mm-hmm. That's uh, Shapovalov and Tiafo. They crushed it for me. Tiafo, he he. That was a, I. I watched a little bit of that. Well, highlights. It was at like three a.m. But it was rough. Awesome. You know, well, what can you do? All right, is that close out tennis then? Are you yeah. on the Tommy Paul futures like me, Mike? No, he's not allowed. Uh-huh. No, he's not allowed. allowed. No, no, I'm, no. I'm, I'm the vote that decides it. You're here. not no. anything. You're <laughs> Tommy not Paul's vote. a dog, but I'm out. Specifically, not the vote. All I'm right, doing let's my keep... tennis moans. Just leave me alone. Uh, 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 
Can we get, <gasps> turn his camera off or <laughs> mic off or something? Oh, I don't know what's there. going on. Yeah. Um, what's going on over there? Honestly, all so right, good. As, there we go. As we <laughs> as we move in to uh, college basketball on Bavada, I I mean the one thing you gotta say is Matthew. You he's had a bad season, but Matthew Unders is, has just been not coming through in any sort of way. Another uh, harsh week in the world of unders. Uh, you give out like that huge parlay and went two and six. It was yeah. He's not on a good run. He needs he the is. reset to happen. I don't know when the reset happened. I think I we it said soon. it was. I thought it was the Super Bowls the last week. I thought. I feel like it was March Madness. We got to go back and like, and. I thought it was the Super Bowl because that that's around like the twenty five twenty six week mark. We said, but. Because this this is week twenty three, so week it'd be week twenty five of the Super Bowl. I don't know. We'll have to go back and listen when we started this season. That's up to you, dog. You got me. Yeah. Yeah, you're the stenographer of the show, so I don't think you know what stenographer means. I was watching you night court pictures. No, I was oh watching God. night court, and that's stenographer is the guy that yeah they uh, sit there and they the pictures then. No, well, that's the court. That's the court photographer or the court <laughs> artist, something like court that. They, they're they're impressive. They're impressive. They draw oh, those no, pictures of they're, they're not that impressive. <laughs> That's impressive. I like this stenographer because they're just typing on like that mini keyboard and shorthand. Yeah, I mean, that's, you, that's I don't like to be paralyzed. I choose Do you know my they word. have their own keyboards? <laughs> yes, I did know that. That's incredible. You got to look at one of those keyboards, Mike, if you haven't seen one. All right. you everybody gotta... pull up. Everybody, don't pause <laughs> no. the show, but hang on. I'll give you a second. <laughs> Everyone Google stenographer keyboard. And let's take a look at these. They're incredible. They're They're... They're a skill that mm. not many people could have. What in the world? Think. Yeah. How is I mean How do you type on this thing? I don't it's, know. I feel like, like they're scientifically too... faster for you to type. But there's uh, not the enough words. letters. There's a different alphabet thing here. You gotta look yeah, up the other one. It's it, they they type in shorthand. I might have to watch so like, YouTube videos. There's no like there's there's I guess you can't no be why. like time out. Hold on, can you repeat what you just said in court? Yeah, you gotta so, just like, flow. So then they have to go back and edit it, I guess. Then I have, I have no. Or idea. they extend it. They probably have like a system that reads like the stenographer, yeah. and then put it uh, puts it into regular. It stuff. reads the stenographer. <laughs> yeah, the writing of the stenographer. I feel like that can't be accurate. Oh really? Mm. You don't think don't like know. a computer could discern like I don't know an essay if I wrote it in. Cal- Calibria, what's that one? That's Calibri? like weird. No, what's the one? Oh, wing this... dings. Yeah, like all those weird Mark's symbols. Mark out here submit term papers in high school and wing dings. Do you want to know how to get to fifteen pages quick? <laughs> <laughs> symbols were like this big. <laughs> like, you always heard the rumors of people who would fill term papers out with like uh, just like because like oh you're not reading this those kind of things. I sat next to a kid in high school who did that. And boy, did that not work out for him. <laughs> it was, I remember we got the paperback and there's just a giant see me and no grade at the top. <laughs> Buddy, That's a tough bad one. decision, bad decision. That is Ugh. tough. One. I, I mean, like I, I applaud you for yeah. like taking that chance on the 15, the 15 page paper about biomes of the world. Like I get that, <laughs> but Boy, you know, did some, you choose the wrong Some that boys will be boys, decision. and other boys will be stupid. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good point. That's a little I mean, inside joke for the just, for the locals. In this area. I mean, we, we won the uh, we won the uh, winter classic. How's that that count? I don't know. Uh, sure. <laughs> I guess. Outdoor, high, outdoor high school hockey. Who's not in on it? This is uh, a guy with the Rose Bowl champ hat. So did I, did I say we we're moving to college basketball? I did, right? Yeah, yeah. we we, we, are, we are. We're in, oh, I'm sorry. We're in college basketball. We're talking about term papers. You were typing I'm up an essay. <laughs> you typing up an essay about college basketball. I don't know. I wrote, I wrote it in shorthand on a stenographer. <laughs> you didn't see college. it in the wingdings. Yeah, I I did the whole stenographer thing just so I could talk about how I don't like being paraphrased. Wingding sounds delicious, isn't that a B a, B W? Uh, there's definitely places in my area that serve wingdings, and I don't know the difference between them and regular wings. I've ordered them before just to see, and I don't know what the difference is. It's sounds just delicious. the wing. Is it like bone uh, in? Yeah, it's a bone. It's just a bone in wing. It's nothing different. 
but they also have wings on their menu. So I feel like I have to order both at some point and have them side by side to try to figure out what <laughs> we are learning far too much stuff today. I mean, it's incredible. <laughs> it's absolutely incredible. Everybody pull uh, your phone out, read what a wing ding is. <laughs> Somebody find a wing ding. Mark, give me your first college basketball pick. I'm taking the uh, Iowa wing dings plus two and a half at Michigan State. Uh, the Hawkeyes, they play some good basketball up there. And uh, Michigan State's just okay. The zone's just not as cold as it used to be. I rode Michigan State last week, but I'm all in on uh, Iowa this week with you. I feel like that's a little bit of a – I was a better team. They're a better team, minus two and or plus two and a half on the road. Uh, I think I think they're the way to go. I'm also on Drexel minus three and a half at North wow. Carolina A and T minus one ten on Bovada. Uh, dragon. The dragons. The dra- I don't. That's the, this is definitely not a dragon. But it's kind of. It's, it's kind of dragon. dragon. I just want wish. fire. I need it's a like a wing dig. Fire. You gotta imagine dragons. All right. Anyways, like, uh, I looked up like, wing dings, and the first thing that came up was an informal gathering or party. So I'm we'll pretty sure it's not a shit dig. That's what <laughs> I thought, but uh, it said it's, I showed pictures of wings, but also said in the dictionary in the Oxford. Mike, I'm pretty Oxford sure we looked at a place wing that dings. stored wing dings. I'm pretty yeah, sure that's but the, no, it's both. It says a lively, a lively event or party. The company's mm-hmm. annual autumn wing ding. So I'm throwing a wing ding next weekend. <laughs> Don't you, guys you dare! <laughs> I'm Don't out. you dare disrespect Zingers. <laughs> Mike, college Zingers basketball. Are Zingers are good. Uh, Arizona, trust the ballo, minus three and a half, minus 110, away at Washington State. I minus think, oh, I think Arizona is going to win the entire thing. So That's what I thought last year, and how did that work out? Not yeah, trust, the ballo, trust the ballo looks even better this year. I trust Zach Eady. Purdue minus five minus one. I don't trust any Big Ten teams. Michigan stinks. They stink. Yeah, yeah. Mark, what's Mark? What's your next one? My next one. I'm actually. Hold on, on, sorry, Mark. That's my analysis this week because I'm so (laughs) tired. Is they stink minus five? Mark, go ahead. All right, I'm taking uh, SMU plus twelve and a half against Memphis. I think that's too many points. Uh, SMU's having a rough year, but it's just too many points. It's a lot of points. It's a lot of, a points, lot of points for that matchup. And I don't I don't know a ton about Memphis this year. You know, Penny Hardaway always has the draft picks. Uh, They're not bad. Not but... the draft picks, but the, the recruits at least. Um, so. Thanks for, that. Thanks, thanks for picking me up while I'm taking a sip of water, guys. <laughs> pure out. silence. I, Mike, I, you're next I, one. I take my be real. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to go USC plus five. Minus 110 at home against UCLA. There's no money line, but I wouldn't be against a sprinkle. I wouldn't be against a sprinkle on the USC boys at home. Do you think Mick Cronin's losing to a rival? The pick's UCLA. Yes. Minus sick name on that name. UCLA name. minus five, minus 110. And my bad, Purdue's minus five and a half, minus 110. I said minus five earlier. Purdue's five and a half, UCLA's five. And I'm, I'm on, on the Bruins, Bruins as well. I'm on Bruins. It's just rude, guys. Why? Huh. Why is it rude, Mike? It's just, just rude it's a going against of me like that. It's Drew a Peterson's going to go off for 20. Easy. Okay, good for you. Uh, I'm going to go with <laughs> Tennessee <a> Martin. <laughs> Tennessee Martin over Lindenwood. Uh, minus 10, minus 110. Tennessee Martin's a team that I went to a lot last season. Uh, they didn't always help, but Tennessee Martin. Martin. <laughs> I was watching that on HBO Max like two weeks ago. They have the whole series. Such a good show. Very good show. What was the line on that one? Uh, 10 points said. minus 110. Martin. Martin. That's that line. What's our next line? <laughs> um, yeah. Uh, Charleston did not cover for me last week, but I'm going to go with another random team that's ranked. Florida Atlantic. They're ranked 21st in the nation, but they're at least at home this time. So I'm going to go minus nine, minus 110. Minus nine, minus 110 for you. Uh, I'm on I'm on uh, Weber State. They got the dub for me last week, minus two and a half, minus 110. I'll ride them again on Bovada. Uh, and then my last pick is Wright State, minus four, minus 110. I feel like I pick Wright State every, you pick every them last week. week. I did, and they didn't cover. 
They lost outright. Uh, right State did last week. Put them back on them again this week. Here's the issue. This is going to be way back. But we had the mini hoop in the house back in the day. We used to play the five-second game with the different brackets from the year. We'd play the whole tournament throughout the thing. And I won every time. The champion. Incorrect. Um, but right State, like there are some teams that were on those brackets that we played hundreds and hundreds of times. Like the the 2009 nine. Uh, and maybe even earlier than that, like 2007, 2006 NCAA tournament bracket. We probably played 4,000 times. Thousand times. And yeah. there's no doubt Wright State was a team on there that I would see. And they're just a team that's stuck in my head. When I see them, I need to pick them. I have no idea if they were good. They were good when I was controlling them up one or down one with five seconds left in the game. And I had to figure out how to beat you or Matt. Like, would I understand never, that. would never beat me. I just fouled Greg. He doesn't have the clutch sheet. He can't make his free throw. What are you talking oh about? Oh, it's the free throw kick. The free can't throw kick. Clarion basketball camp free throw <laughs> champion. 19, or probably, uh, just, uh, let's take a guess here. Uh, let's say 2001. I'm not going to lie, Greg. You said the game we used to play back in the day with the basketball net, with the microwave. I was like, all right, yeah, he's talking like whatever. Then the you microwave. went like two things. <laughs> yeah, dude, the microwave was the timer. You don't remember well, the microwave? We did do the oh, microwave yeah, for other, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for other yeah, timers. Right, the timer right. on the microwave. Right, you used to right. for 10 seconds, you had 10 <laughs> seconds to make a shot, and there it was your timer. But I, then Greg pulled out the year of 2009. When I was like, Greg was like 20 years old. Uh, 21, <laughs> actually. Mini hoop basketball. Like, back in the day. Like, oh, you, we, we, had, me and Greg had to have, I like, very positive in the last, like, Five to seven years, me and Greg have a hundred percent printed out a bracket one time when we were there and played and played if the entire we, thing. If we still had the ball, if the ball had not gone missing, I don't oh, know where it went. But there was two had, of them at a time. They're both gone. Had it not gone missing, I would still be playing mini basketball. Yeah. That who custom made backward the backboard. I don't even remember what the original backboard looked like, but it was redone, literally traced. Out of wood and hand painted and recreated I, with the rim. I think the first backboard was like a plastic one with like yeah, the NBA, NBA, NBA teams on it. On it. Yeah, like NBA logos yeah. on it, and then that one like went to went to what went to crap, and and then my dad went was like, crap. I went to dunking, and <laughs> as soon as somebody <laughs> like dunking held on to it, and it my dad, dad was like, I'm not buying any more. Just made a wooden one, and it lasted <laughs> forever. There, there was screws in the rim so it would stay there and everything. Well done. Dude, well done, bud. That's, bud that's, yeah. yeah, you got to clap it up for yeah, Steve that's, on that one. That's it a tip, tip the cap for uh, sure. The only thing also, is the hole coming through well, in the wall. Uh, <laughs> there's a piece of plywood the size of that Iverson jersey case behind you. <laughs> behind one of the walls just painted because that wall went down so many times. Yeah, that one took uh, a lot of a lot of beating. <laughs> that dude, one. My butt went through that wall. Uh, there's <laughs> hip, hips, butts, backs, shoulders. It, mini baseball, it mini wooden baseball bat. Mm. That, Got a Mikey downtown. Oh, God. Are we good in college basketball then? We are good in college basketball. I had one more pick in the conference of champions. And the line went up. I literally just had it like 30 – wrote it down like 30 minutes ago. Oregon, they're minus 6.5, minus 110. I have it written down as minus 5. So, Sharps must be hitting it. So, I'll take 6.5. You are are one of the Sharps. I hear that. Just sharpening the knife. Let's go to hockey very quickly. We have a loaded loaded game – sorry, loaded schedule of games – uh, to choose from, uh, I'll start with you, Mark. Uh, Florida Georgia puck line screwed me last week. It really oh, did. You know what happened is I didn't have the Florida teams in it. So I'm going to go back to that. I'm going to go back to Tampa Bay Lightning. I know they're playing the Bruins. The Blue- Bruins are hot. Bruins are probably, what, what the best team in the NHL right now? I'm still, uh, yeah, taking, probably. I'm still taking the Lightning minus one and a half. Plus two ten. There's some value for your boys. Uh, I'm, on, I'm on the Bruins minus one ten for the record. Okay, Not no because one. you picked them. I was already on them. But that's another line that's uh, that's shifted on Bovada in the last half hour because I it was minus one hundred five and now it's minus one ten. So even matchup. Mm. Mm. What's your other puck line, Mark? The other puck line I'm going with it's the Blues. The St. Louis Blues going to Arizona. Arizona's got the new uniforms. Those were sweet. But you're still playing in a. I didn't see him. 
Oh, uh, their new uniforms are pretty sweet that they got. They're nice. The the goalie pads also have some cacti on them, which is sweet. You literally just slandered my cacti hat. Your hat's stupid, but the cacti. This is a fire <laughs> hat. It's got cacti on it. Come on. Before the show, Mark's like that hat's dumb. It's got cacti on it. You just complimented a cacti thing. Cacti I, bought are this cool, at, man. I bought this at PXG. It's the. Uh, it was their it waste looks, management hat. It looks it's like a middle finger. Hat. It looks like a middle finger the whole this time. Dude, this dude said, your hat's dumb. <laughs> yeah. He's like, that's a dumb hat. I was like, it's got oh, cactus on it. Right. It's cool. Right. You like the waste taking... management tournament? <laughs> I, I do. I do. Uh, I'm taking the blues. Minus one and a half, plus 155. Parlay them together. Plus six, nine, nice one. Six ninety one for you. Uh, I am on the Blues as well, but I'm only on the money line minus 160 in that one. Mike, hockey. Is a fire jersey. Yeah, I I, I have two puck lines as well uh, that I'm going to take and parlay together. You the Florida-Georgia puck line? No, this is the... I'm not creative enough to Come think on, of a man. name. Puck line this parlay. Is the volcano. <laughs> this is going to be... Volcano... So Volcano eruption <laughs> puck oh line parlay. Okay. Just give me the parlay. So we got the Calgary Flames uh, minus or minus one and a half against the Blackhawks minus one forty five, and uh, Colorado Avalanche against the Ducks minus one and a half minus one forty. Minus one forty. You putting them together? Yep. Plus one ninety. Uh, plus one ninety. The volcano eruption. Because yeah, like when a volcano erupts, you see flames and then the the avalanche of the lava down the mountain. I'm on uh I'm on the penguins even money and the devils minus one twenty five uh included in there. I also I dipped into the AHL because oh, typically man, me too. Typically the lines that. aren't on there, so I don't. But I was like eh, because of the time that we that we record, but because it's later, they're in there. So uh, Mark, I'll go with you first then. Oh man, I Ooh. got. I got a real nice puck line here. Uh, I'm going to do these two straight. I'm going to do that. these two parlayed together. And then I'm going to parlay these two with my other puck line. So I'm going to give you the large line first. Uh, this is the fire and ice parlay puck line, okay? Oh. I've got the Coachella Valley Firebirds, minus one and a half, plus 210. And the Rockford Ice Hogs, minus one and a half, plus 210. Put those together with my lightning and blues. I'm gonna get uh, close to 75 units here. Seven so, four nine seven. So hold on, hold on. So you're doing the all hockey puck yeah. line parlay, and it's plus plus seventy four ninety seven, Greg. And are you doing the ice hogs and the Coachella Firebirds? ones separately? Oh, I am. That one is gonna be eight sixty one. Hmm. So we're talking, we're talking eight plus six plus the seventy five. I could be like a hundred units on this fire and ice parlay. You really could. You really could. I'll take the Milwaukee Admirals minus one ten. I mean oh, that rude. <laughs> <laughs> you wonder why I think your hat stinks. <laughs> I hope the fire, uh, I am, it's I hope the fire and ice parlay crashes and burns. I, I hate to do this to you, Mark. But I'm on I'm on both the Ice Hogs and the Firebirds, but just the money lines. Mm. Uh, so my apologies. Uh, Sorry, right. you're still you. on the Fire and Ice side. Exactly, exactly. I actually I actually dipped in even further uh, to oh, the no. Fire oh, and Ice. Oh, HL? I, I did. They're, they're <laughs> on there. I'm not going to not do it. I don't know what to tell you. We, there's, we were trying we – you gotta we're go digging, to the junior hockey league we're, to we're go digging, back to your junior. Uh, no, I can't. That I mean, now we'd get we'd be getting ridiculous going to the QMJHL uh, on Bravado. <laughs> I'm, I'm going. I'm gonna go in to to there. I'm on. I mean, how how can you not be on the Erie Otters? Look at their their Google Erie. I was gonna Otters. say their jerseys have to be electric. Unbe- their logo is unbelievable. <laughs> Like, look at the – you are not oh. messing with the New York Otter. <laughs> That's amazing. I mean, I need I need that. And then I'm also on the uh, the Windsor Spitfires minus 110 uh, on, uh, you know, for the OHL. <laughs> I mean, but the Erie Otters, the, the logo <laughs> sealed it. Somebody – I think there's an alternative logo. It's the, like, Pennsylvania State sign and the Otter. I don't even know if that's what an Otter actually looks like. 
Um, but I may need it. Look, I mean, the mascot, what is this dude's name? Let's Someone see. find me the Erie Otter's mascot. Oh, that's 100% name. what the otter looks like. As a man that was the owner of the Dinky Town River Otters, I know what an otter looks like. <laughs> it's Otto. It's Otto the Otter. I mean, come on. What are we doing <laughs> yeah. here? Otto the Otter. Otto uh, the Otter. The Erie Otters. I mean. Ooh, they used like, to be the Erie Blades, which also is a nice name. No, the bad. Otters is. Hey, so I like the Otters better. The blades. The, the blades is far too much like hockey. A lot of these really. team names are amazing. Even if you start even going down all the way down to oh. the W to the WHL, <laughs> Some, the Moose Jaw Warriors. I mean, that's just more of the city or location, that's more the city of it than anything. But I, I agree. I just I, like yeah, you, you can't. I, once I saw the name, the bet was made. I didn't need anything else. Otto the Otter, Erie Otters. Let's go. I'm in. Uh, all right, are we good there? Unbelievable. Yes. We're good in yes. hockey. Then yes. let's go quickly to darts because we really are going for everything. Come here. on. I don't even have my partner, my partner in dart picking. Let's go. The, 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 the first major of the year uh, that's going to go full start to finish in 2023. Uh, we closed out the first two World Series events over the last two weekends, but the Masters is here. It's the top 32 players in the world, all in the same bracket going to be a heck of a good time it starts this friday i'm kicking it off with dave chisnall minus 170 over ryan searle uh i got callan rids in an upset special plus 127 Oof. against james wade upset I got special nathan aspinall minus 157 against steve i want Bunting. that i want i want that i want eight minutes that's one. oh nathan aspinall. that's not that that's not the chance <laughs> that's I, not the I chance that was it. thought that was it what is it again i thought that's uh, not it no, they don't do that for him. They do. Uh, they go. They give you the Aspinall. Aspinall. Oh, okay. Nathan Aspinall. Okay. All right. Yeah, all right there all right. you go. I have uh, one thing to say once you're done your picks. I want you to finish your picks first. I got Gabriel Clemens minus 105. First time we've seen over Jose de Souza. First time we've seen him since the magical run to the semifinals of the world championship. And then my last awesome. one is this is the year. Mm. This is the year Damon Hedda gets it done on mm, TV. No. Struggled on TV in 2022. He's taking on Ross Smith. It's a hard first round matchup, but I'm taking a minus 128, uh, and we're going with uh, Damon Hedda uh, mm. in that. I got three futures real quick oh, just for the overall go. tournament. Gerwin Price plus 450. He's coming second place in both World Series events. Peter Wright won. The Copenhagen or the Nordic Darts Masters last week. He's plus nine hundred in this event. I'll take him there, and uh, I'll also sprinkle a little bit. Damon had a plus four thousand outright on Bovada. I'm to bounce back uh, on TV, Damon. Uh, most certainly, uh, there's almost almost zero doubt that uh, I go oh, two, three. three, four, five, <laughs> six, seven, eight. Oh, and eight in darts this week. I mean, Probably you can only do ahead. better than the last the last darts outing yet. Okay. Ago, so. Greg, just put me great. put me down for all eight opposite picks. Number I, how am I going to do opposite <laughs> of a future? What do you putting on me to do there? All other guys that score a touchdown. So <laughs> I don't, I, can you at least write them down? Like I don't. I don't I'm, fine, uh, we'll go all eight that's, opposite. That's no, not, not, that's that's not the eight. Defense. Well, defense. Well, we'll right, do the five. five. We'll do the five opposite. So here I'll we take go. the five episode. Opposite. Five episode. <laughs> uh, I'll episode. Like, yeah. Mark's going to go uh, Ryan Searle, plus, plus 130. Mm. James Wade. James Wade. Minus 159. Minus 159. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I'm going bunting because you went Aspinall. I did. So I'm going, getting bunting 128. Mm. Hold on, hold on. You went Joe Cullen. I'm going Chris Doby. I didn't. I wasn't even in that one, but you oh. can take Doby if you want. No, no, that's okay. You're going Damon Hedda. I'll go Ross Smith minus 102. Just cut that one right off. It's on TV. Are you an idiot? Damon Hedda kicks yeah, what, what a dummy. Damon Hedda stinks on TV. What are you talking about? It's a new year. And that was a man who visited the famed Polonia Club in Port Richmond just recently. Oh, all right, all right. Uh, but I can't well, that, that wasn't on TV. So was I know how he Rutowski? Rutowski? Uh -huh. Who'd you take? Rutowski? No, I'm not in that one. You well, got who'd you, Who's the last one? I thought you it took was five. Ross Smith. Oh, uh, Jose DeSalza versus Gabriel Clemens. Oh, uh, you got I'll Gabriel Clemens. Give me Gabe. 
Gabe, I did. Gabe, I put him on there. No, you're on Gabe. You're on Jose de Salsa. I'm on Gabriel Clemens. Jose, 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 Jose. 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 Right, let's go. This stinks. Let's go to the Wait, NBA. I have two things. Hold on, hold on a second. All right, we won't go to the NBA. One, you said year, so I forgot to say earlier. The year of Crone starts one and zero. Oh. The year of Mike. Thank you, Jamal Hill. Easy work. Ref should have stopped it. Should have got the KO as well. But nonetheless, my second thing is. And I'm putting it out here. Greg is afraid to play me in darts. I challenged him earlier this week, and he I said, come over. And it's afraid to play me. I said, come over. I'd wax you. You wouldn't even get a shot at double. It wouldn't even be close. This guy thinks I wouldn't get a shot at double. It's crazy. Not a chance. Oh, man. Let's I was going to put the... a dartboard behind me, but I forgot. <laughs> Let's go to the NBA, fellas. Uh, we He's have a running. ton of games. Very different this week because, again, recording early, Bavada has a ton of lines up for all the games. Mark, I'll start with you. I'm going to take the Knicks plus eight against the Celtics. Celtics are injured right now, man. They are uh, they are walking wounded. Yeah, they're falling and, down a little bit. And uh, the Knicks need something. So give me the eight points. <clears throat> I'm on the Celtics minus eight. Again, not because you did that, but because I keep betting on the Celtics and they keep covering. So I have to ride and the Knicks stink. Mike. Uh, I'm going to take the Suns and Mavericks over, over 222, minus 110. I think both teams get sore. No Devin Booker, obviously, for the Suns. He's been injured, but uh, but I, both teams can sore. So. All right. So both teams uh, are sore. I'm on the Bulls, minus 5, minus 110. The Hornets so am I. are very bad. Very yeah, and bad. Hurt. Not, they got Lamella yeah. Ball's hurt again, and the, rest of the team, and, they, and the rest of the team just isn't that good. So, Mark, what's your next one? I'm going to go with the clip. Minus 12 and a half over the Spurs. Talk about a bad team. Uh, that's the Spurs right now. Yeah, the Spurs, the Spurs are, are, are in it for one reason. They're looking for they're a get one. Yeah, they're going to get one. Ben Yama. Yeah. What's your next one, Mike? Uh, my last pick, I'm going to take the Cavs minus seven and a half, minus 110 at the Rockets. The Rockets stink. It's all turmoil down there, supposedly, and it's just they aren't that good. Uh, I'm on the Suns minus one and a half, minus 110, and then my last one is – the Kings, uh, who are de- – they were definitely on here. If they're that, not on Their here, game might be tonight. Oh. Some of them were, were playing tonight on there. Oh, the Kings yeah, are in the second. Yep, they're, they're playing on the night. So take them, take them off the board. Uh, then the Suns are my last pick. Mark, anything else in the NBA? No, all done. I actually think all you right, had then, Kings minus three first quarter. So I think that lost for you. You I, put that down. I didn't. I did not. I definitely did not have that. Loser. Uh, so <laughs> let's move to – Championship weekend in the NFL. They are there are four teams left vying for a trip to the Super Bowl. Uh, I can't read Roman numerals. I think it's fifty four. Fifty seven. Um, yeah, fifty seven. We won in fifty two, so yeah, it's fifty seven. All right, Super Bowl fifty seven. Uh, four teams off. left vying for it. We kick it off in the city of brotherly love. The Philadelphia Eagles host Brock. Purdy, who got the shout out by Paul Heyman on the 30th anniversary of Raw, and the San Francisco 49ers. Bavada has the 49ers as two and a half point underdogs heading into Philadelphia. Fellas, I I mean, I'm going to be honest. I think this is going to be a pretty consensus run around here, which I hate, but uh, I'll start with you, Mike. Yeah. Um, Brock Purdy throwing an interception over half minus 165. Brock Purdy over 0.5 INT yeah. minus 165. All right. I'm also double dipping on the birds minus two and a half minus 115 and birds minus 145. Uh, that was the Giants last week were an absolute joke. Uh, this playing another backup quarterback like we had to in 2017. I just feel like maybe not a, I don't know if we'll route them. Yeah, yeah, third string. I don't think we'll route them, but. I think we win by multiple scores. Got to get his face. Got to get up, the get up early. Get up early, and then if Brock goes all, goes crazy after being down like a, two scores or something like that, then what are you gonna do? But I think I think we can smash him. What are you gonna I do? What are you gonna do? I couldn't agree more. I'm on. I'm on the Eagles uh, minus two and a half, minus one fifteen, and I'm on the over in the game over forty six and a half uh, for this one. I'm on Mark. the double dip. I'm on the double dip as well. But I'm also on uh, – I'm going to take minus six and a half on the alternate spread, uh, plus 165. Uh, a lot of the reasons Mike said. And then 
I'm also taking AJ Brown first touchdown plus 900. I can't believe you just did that. I just looked up yeah, the odds as well. To do the same thing. Plus I 900 hate. coming off the slow game, and he is. I uh, had that same logic for him. I have his over 69 half receiving yards you, minus you 110. You know, James. same feed logic. His boy. He's gonna feed yeah. his boy. It's a big game, and they gotta they gotta feed our big dogs early. So give me that first I, touchdown to AJ. Nine units. Greg, you can't do it. It's defense. I'm already on it. I mean, it's in. Uh, you said my, the alternate line was minus six and a half. Plus 165. Plus 165. I think, and I, I'm not going to do the research because I don't have the pit time or the patience tonight. I'm pretty sure every time Mark's taking the alternate line, the Eagles lost outright. Oh, uh, really? Uh, I did it last minus, week. Minus 13 and a half, and they yeah, were covered. Uh, you're right. You're right. All right, good. Thank God. Week. Good research, God. dummy. I did not <laughs> do it. I told you I wasn't going to do the research. You. You just did it for me. I, I right, literally so, don't know who's wearing a dumber hat right now. Yo. Rose Bowl champs, dude. Somebody Rose stole Bowl my champs. Eagles hat. <laughs> or um, I just we have, all right, are we good? Are I we have, good on? I had one more. I'm good. I had, I had my first touchdown score is going to be Miles Sanders plus 825. I think he'll get in the end zone first, and I'll take him plus 140 to any time score. So. Any time. Yeah. Plus 140. All right, then let's go to what will also be the challenge, the AFC Championship game. The Cincinnati Bengals, who knocked out the Buffalo Bills, head to Kansas City where an injured Patrick Mahomes take uh, will be hopefully taking the field for the Chiefs after they down. They had... Sorry, you can keep going. I was no, just I, just, I don't know why they had him in or like you'd think they like the Chiefs want to like keep it like close to thing if he's going to be ready or not, all that stuff. And then they had him interviewing today with no boot or anything walking around. But it did look like he was trying to force that he didn't have a limp. But I, I mean, of course uh, he is, dude. A high ankle sprain six to eight weeks. The yeah. Chiefs are one point underdogs on Bovada at home. I, I, I this this is a, like one of the harder games to pick. I'll be honest with you, but I'll, I'll let Mark go first. Uh, I'm gonna take the Chiefs. Uh. I know they haven't beaten Burrow, or Mahomes hasn't beaten Burrow, and Mahomes is hurt, but I don't know. The line, the line's still even, even money. I'll double dip on them, actually. I'll do even money and the plus one, minus 110. It's it's a toss-up. That means Bavada doesn't know what's going on. They don't know who's going to win. So I'll just take a little bit of that extra value and, and side with the Chiefs and their experience. I'm on, I'm on both of those as well. I, I just... Just like I was on, I gave you the Bengals last week. I knew they were going to take on the Bills and take them out. I think that the Chiefs' defense, at least the front seven, are better. Yeah, they're just better than the Bills' ones. Yeah, I can't believe you didn't notice like the O line at all because that's what we talked about last what, week. I thought that week? the o- yeah, I thought that the Bengals' O line was just going to be they're beat up, but, but they were they're beat up, but they dominated. No Von Miller, I think, was massive for the yeah. Bills, but I mean, but like you got. What Frank Clark and uh, Chris Jones and stuff? For I yeah. think they're all healthy. They're there. I think they'll they'll eat that offensive line up for the Bengals. Absolutely, so I, I'm double like, dipping on the Chief as well. So oh this god, is good. this is this, <laughs> this is good. Horrendous. Matt's got Matt, his. Matt's uh, got the same thing. He's on both. He's <laughs> podcast. He's, he's in he's in first right now by two now. He because I've lost the last two. He's won the last two. He's growing the lead at least. Yeah, he is. He's he's at least he's winning something. Uh, yeah. you know, and I think the Chiefs matter. win. You have the Eagles versus Andy Reid. You have all those headlines, all that stuff going into Super Bowl Sunday. I'm and taking then Andy the Reid over. calls a bad timeout and or doesn't clock manage well. And we win the Super Bowl. I'm taking the over in that matchup over forty seven and a half uh, minus one ten. And then uh, I'm also taking Jarek McKinnon first TD plus a mm. thousand. Mm. Um, mm. Oh, look at that. Eagles technically favored in both the hypothetical matchups. I think the well. Eagles are the favorites like to win it all. I'm pretty sure. I, it's terrifying. Fellas, oh, whoa, fun whoa. week. Whoa. Whoa. What? I have two more winners to give you in your cup. Right, well, give me, me your winners. My winners. Isaiah Pacheco, plus 150, anytime touchdown score. Now I, got, I had him first time. Let me see what it is. Plus, plus 150? Yep, and he's plus 900 for the score of the first TD. The first TD plus 900. From right. Rutgers. Fellas, fun week, weird week, three-man pod. We got it done. Uh, 
let's let's take it into the weekend. Let's go birds. Hopefully next week when we're back to full strength, we're we're looking at a two week preview of the Super Bowl and the Eagles are in it. Outside of that, let's go win some bets. <laughs>